Whoa, whoa, what's up guys? I didn't know we were recording. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be showing you how to add uh how to get my two controls control files for the PSB display. I'm gonna be giving you a Pokemon one and the Minecraft. So first of all you're gonna have to know how to even put it in. So you should see this PSP disp icon. If you do not on Vista, click this arrow. On, I mean, on Windows 7, click this arrow. On Vista and uh, Windows XP, there should be, there should be something that looks like this, like a whole bunch of arrows. And click on that, and you should see it. Now, if you don't, go to Start, click PSP, and click that. But if you've recently clicked on it, it'll sh it should show up right there. That is, if you're on um, seven. Now you're gonna go to it, right click, go to control, and click customize. Now, now click open control file to modify, add controls. Now, whenever you download the uh, controls, all you gotta do is click paste and then click refresh control file list, and bam, you're done. Now, I'm also going to be showing you how to add in your own controls in case you want to experiment and like try and play Wii on the computer or something. I don't know, whatever. But yeah. So, but first off, I'm going to show you all the controls. So, for Pokemon, it's basically like a DS. Right there, just read that. This side is the button pressed if you're playing a DS. So, Square acts like the Y on a DS. Cross X, a uh, cross AKA X acts like the B. Triangle AKA X, triangle AKA X, and then circle AKA A. So, yeah, it's like a DS. Left trigger, which is the left button on the top of your PSP, that that makes the right click. What I'm doing right now, clicking. The right mouse click and then right trigger makes the left what I just did analog stick is not used and all these things are also not used before I go into how to uh, add your own controls let me open up the minecraft actually. yeah let me open minecraft oh my god what the fuck shit alright now Minecraft, it's just like you're playing on the computer. It's like the same control. So square is the uh, left, cross is the back, triangle is forward, and circle is D. Left trigger is the right mouse, and right trigger is the left mouse. Analog stick moves the mouse, so it's just like Minecraft, like you're moving it and stuff. D-pad up, which is the left side of your PSP. Up is jump. And start is the I, which opens up your inter inventory. And it can also exit out of your inventory by clicking it again. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you don't plan on, like, experimenting and trying to make new controls for different things, you can stop watching because that's all I wanted to show you. Now, this is something I decided just to add in because I'm a nice person. Now this is now I'm gonna show you how to like add in controls because it wasn't too easy but somehow I figured it out. So first of all, if you saw in the Pokemon I put this. Analog stick mapping is how much the mouse moves. So maximum sixteen is the maximum megapixels it can move. While these ones I have no clue what they do. Basically, the maximum is what affects it the most, but these also gotta, like, correspond somehow. For this one, I really, I kept it the same as what it was set, but this one, I just fucked around and I somehow got it. So, I would suggest you just use these two, because the other one is smooth, that is, if you're using USB mode, and this one is just kind of all crazy. From here, it, like, teleports over here, and over here, and over here, but if you move the analog stick slowly, it can like move like this, but it's kind of hard. So I would basically just use these two that you're seeing. This one, and the one from Pokemon, which is the default one, that's like on all of them. So yeah. 
now that we got that done, now it's to show you how to add, like, make it so, like, T moves you forward on any certain game. So, that's what the scan code is for. That's like the button that's pressed. So, I don't, so triangle is W. So, the scan code for triangle is 11. Now, you won't just like count your keys and somehow get 11. You actually have to use this little uh, utensil over here. See, so it's 11. When I go over here, I'll click W and I get 11. So, I copy that, put it in there. So, it's pretty simple. You say you want to have it so I, J, K, L are like your Minecraft buttons, like move forward. Uh, you would have it, you press I, go into triangle, paste it, press J, K, L, and so on, blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to go back down, we're going to go down to, uh, oh, forgot something. Also, event, right here, uh, right there. It's just saying, like, say, so T is on the keyboard. Letters, all the things that you can type with. You can like delete home page up blah 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 and shift those are all on the keyboard of course and when you want to move the mouse you just do event event mouse and that's easy and whenever it's the mouse there's no scan code and the typomatics should either be zero or one it really doesn't matter you can use whatever and the button it'll be like buttons is the right click or the left click so just right or left for that one. And say you don't like how I have it so left is right and right is left, you can easily just go in here, type left, and go in here and type right. And you're done. So after you've done all this, you must close this and click refresh control file list. And if you're on the co control file, if you say you added in Minecraft and you're on it, and you're like you just finished using it and you want to edit it, you're going to have to reload current control file list also for it to actually like uh, change. Whew, that's a lot of talking. So that's pretty much it with the t tutorial and I hope you liked it and I hope it helped because this is like the fifth time I've done it. And yeah, so that's all guys. See you later.